Hi everybody, I am so excited to share with you this new project. I just finished it and I want to show it to you and then I will go through a process video at the end showing you how I made the entire project. So the first part of the project is this little three and a half by three and a half inch box. It's just a, a box that I had in my craft room that I decided to keep and repurpose. And it's only about one and a quarter inches deep. So it's a very tiny little box. And inside of my box, I have a mini album roll. So I will show that to you after we talk a little bit about the box. I did use the Safari Adventure Deluxe Collectors Edition to decorate my box and my mini album. I have used some of the die cut flower assortment in the yellow and oranges. I have one of the door knockers here and then just a little bit of ribbon that matches the collection. To make the album itself, I've just used all scraps of black cardstock that I have from previous mini albums. So what you'll see on the front of the box here, I've got a couple of pieces layered of the chipboard. So I've got the chipboard frame with the middle piece popped out and I've got the wild piece of chipboard with a little red circle here. I've got butterfly from the assortment and I've layered up all these flowers. And then these two here are fussy cut from the paper and I've got the parrot chipboard back here as well. So it matches the paper for the sides of the box so I like that the flowers do bring those together and so this box you can lift it like this but my idea was to have the door knocker to be able to lift the box lid the door knocker is actually screwed into the box and then covered with the piece of paper so inside the uh, box is a little teeny tiny mini album and this mini album measures three inches by three inches, but it is actually a roll up style mini album. I've wanted to try this for a while. I don't know if people do this or not, but I had an idea and decided I wanted to give it a shot. So I have the center part of this frame I've used on my front cover of my album. I've taken one of those um, flowers. I've added a couple of layers here, and then I have a little bit of greenery have one of the stickers from the collection and just a little bit of ribbon to hold it closed. So opening up the first section, what you will see, I have the tag from one of the cut aparts here. And I just have a little simple booklet. So these are room for photos or for journaling with a white gel pen. So my idea was to have two small photos and in the back for journaling. Then on this page, there is a little pocket with a photo mat. Again, room for a photo, or if you wanted to journal, you could journal there too. Then this opens up again. And here we'll see there's a little chipboard piece that tucks in. So this cut apart opens up, can place something here like a small photograph, or just kind of leave it again, room here too for a photo. And then there's room here for journaling. So I have a little belly band here and I've got just a little plain photo mat. And then I took one of the stickers and backed it on cardstock, room for journaling. Then this opens up again. So I've just got the elephant paper here, just a little bit of that sticker strip. You could place a photo here, just kind of see the papers too. This is a side pocket, and in this side pocket, I have another booklet. It flips up, room for two small photos, room for journaling on the back. Then this opens up again. We've got a chipboard piece here, and I've got one of the tags just tucked into there. Could also put more photo mats there. There is plenty of room. And then here, I've got another pocket with a little photo mat, room for a photo. Opening up again, we see here we've got one of the stickers. This is a flip up. I have one of the stickers backed on cardstock for a tag, room for journaling. And then just one of the cut aparts here, you could place a photo over top of this. And then here I've got 
pocket with the chipboard and then I've got a little tiny mat here. You can put a tiny little faux. This is um, a one and a half by two inch. So a two inch photo would fit on there. Or you could do some journaling. Opening up again, we've got a belly band with a little tiny cut apart. Again, photo or journaling space. You could place another photo mat behind here. There is room. And then here we've got one of the tags, room for a photo on the back. And then one more time, this opens up. We've got a little tuck spot here, a little tiny photo mat, blank on the back for the photo or journaling. And then this is just glued down so you can see all the papers. So it just keeps rolling and rolling and rolling. I've had this idea in my head for a while. I have not seen anyone else do this. I'm sure someone has. If you have ever done this or if you know anyone who has, feel free to leave a comment in the description box below. I would love to check out some other videos. Otherwise, stay tuned. I'm going to do the rest of the video of just the process of decorating the box itself and then constructing and decorating the little mini album. I do have some dimensions for the base of the mini album that I will put in the description box below because there's no commentary in the, the rest of the video. And this is something that you can do with your own scraps. It doesn't have to be the same size as mine. Obviously, I don't know if you're going to have the same size box. But this is just to give you an idea about how this style of a mini album is made. So I hope you will check that out below and I hope you have enjoyed this project as much as I have enjoyed making it and sharing it with you. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the video.